Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I should say thank you all for watching my content and we reached over 11,000 subscribers. This is a big accomplishment for me and we came a long way. Well, in today's video, we will be taking a look at some of the most powerful reptiles ever. These reptiles are large semi-aquatic animals that live throughout the tropics, in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. And they are the crocodilians. The term crocodile is sometimes used even more loosely to include all extant members of the order Crocodilia, which includes the alligators and caimans, family Alligatoridae, the gharial and false gharial family Gavialidae, among other extinct taxa. Crocodiles, I should tell you, are not dinosaurs, but share a common ancestor, called archosaurs, but they are not directly related. Also, I should mention there are some crocodile lookalikes who are not even related to crocodiles at all, but share similar niche roles and physical features like the giant Triassic Phytosaurs and the aquatic slim Macamosaurus, and even famous Sarcosuchus. There are even more croc lookalikes, and some will be mentioned in the video since I mean why not? but I will let you know if they are true crocodilians or not. In particular, we will be looking into the top 10 biggest crocodilians to ever exist. In today's world, we have some crocodilians like the American alligator, who lives in North America, that is one of the top apex predators. We even have the black caiman, who is the biggest caiman and heaviest semi-aquatic predator of South America. We even have the Nile crocodile in Africa, who terrorizes the riverways and the massive giant saltwater crocodile who is the biggest reptile living in our world today. Anyways, we do have even bigger crocodiles we are about to discuss here. At number 10, Crocodilus thorbjarnarsoni. Crocodilus thorbjarnarsoni is from the Pliocene and Pleistocene of the Turkana Basin in Kenya, about 5.3 to 1.8 million years ago. It is closely related to the species Crocodilus anthropophagus, which lived during the same time in Tanzania. Thorbjarnarsoni could be the largest known true crocodile. The skull found, KNM ER 1682, measures 85 centimeters, 33 inches, from the tip of the snout to the back of the skull table. In comparison, the largest known extant crocodilus skull is that of a saltwater crocodile, measuring 27.8 inches. Crocodilus Thorbjarnarsoni likely preyed on human ancestors like Paranthropus and early members of the genus Homo both of which are known from the Turkana Basin. It also hunted Hippotragus gigas, Ugandax, Pelorovis, as well as fish, birds, and larger mammals such as Deceris praecox and Hippopotamus gorgops. The size of this crocodile was about 7.6 meters and over two tons. At number nine, Machimosaurus. Machimosaurus is an extinct genus of Machimosaurid crocodiliform, but not a crocodile, but a Thaladosuchian from the late Jurassic. Chimerigian and Tythonian, and early Cretaceous, about 154 to 130 million years ago. Machimosaurus rex is the largest named teleosauroid, the Latosuchian and crocodiliform in the Jurassic. Machimosaurus rex had stocky, relatively short and rounded teeth and a massive skull capable of a remarkable bite force, to suggest that this animal was a generalist hunter that took a variety of prey, including large marine turtles. The size of the biggest species was around 7 to 10 meters and 2 to 3 tons, dot at number 8, Griposuchus croizati. Griposuchus is an extinct genus of Gavialid crocodilian, with fossils being found from Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, and the Peruvian Amazon. The genus existed during the Miocene epoch, about 16 to 5.3 million years ago. Griposuchus is the type genus of the subfamily Griposuchinae, although a 2018 study indicates that Griposuchinae and Griposuchus might be paraphyletic and rather an evolutionary grade towards the gharial. Today, it likely had a similar feeding strategy to modern crocodiles using its long, slender jaws to snag huge fish and probably large mammals. The size of this giant gharial was about 10 meters and 1.7 tons. Number seven, Euthecodon. Euthecodon is an extinct genus of long-snouted crocodile. It was common throughout much of Africa during the Neogene about 23 million to 11,800 years ago. Euthecodon was a large-bodied crocodilian with an elongated snout similar to that of extant gavialoids. Euthecodon differs from any other known long crocodilian in its deeply scalloped rostral margins, 
each tooth sitting in its own bony sheath, separated from the next by a notable constriction of the rostrum, given the skull a saw-like appearance when viewed from above. It would have preyed on primarily fish and medium-sized animals. The size of this reptile was about nine meters and two to three tons. Number six, Stomatosuchus inermis and Morosuchus. Firstly, Stomatosuchus we will cover. This strange crocodile is an extinct Stomatosuchid neosuchian from the late Cretaceous, Cenomanian of Egypt, about 100 to 94 million years ago. It possessed a long, flattened skull with lid-like jaws that were lined with small conical teeth, and the skull reached up to two meters long. The mandible may have been toothless, and perhaps even supported a pelican-like throat pouch. This pouch, however, could have been used to scoop up fish and sharks, much like a modern-day pelican. The conical teeth would prevent the prey from escaping. The size of this animal was 10 meters and two to four tons. The next crocodile was Morosuchus. Morosuchus is an extinct genus of giant aberrant caiman from the Miocene of South America, about 16 to 5.3 million years ago. Its skull has been described as duck-like, being broad, flat, and very elongate, superficially resembling Stomatosuchus from the late Cretaceous. It was basically a smaller Stomatosuchus, so not much to talk about with this reptile. The size for this animal was about nine meters and two tons. Number five, Sarcosuchus imperador and Dinosuchus schwimmeri. First, let's take a look at Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus is an extinct genus of giant Phyllidosauridae and was not a crocodile even though it looks like one. Remember, there are crocodile lookalikes that are not even related to crocodiles. It lived in the lower Cretaceous of what is now Africa, 135 to 112 million years ago. This killer was a crocodiliform of the family Phyllidosauridae. It preyed on dinosaurs and whatever it could catch, including large fish and possibly marine reptiles. It didn't have much competition, but Succomimus, a large spinosaurid, would have probably clashed with it for territory. Sarcosuchus did not coexist with Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, so that is misinformation from some sources like Planet Dinosaur. Its skull alone was as big as a human adult, 1.78 meters or 5 feet 10 inches, long. The upper jaw overlapped the lower jaw, creating an overbite. Sarcosuchus was thought to be the biggest crocodiliform at around 12 meters and 8 to 10 tons. A sub-adult individual as well as measurements of the skull width further showed that the largest imperator was significantly smaller than was estimated by Sereno et al. 2001, based on modern crocodilians. O'Brien et al. 2019, estimated the length of the largest imperator specimen at nearly but was downsized to 10.5 meters and 5.5 tons. Now onto Dinosuchus schwimmeri. This massive crocodile is an extinct genus of alligatoroid crocodilian, related to modern alligators and caimans, that lived 82 to 73 million years ago. There are a few species of Dinosuchus and schwimmeri is the second biggest, only second to Hatcheri. Despite its large size, the overall appearance of Dinosuchus was not considerably different from that of modern crocodilians. Dinosuchus had an alligator-like broad snout with a slightly bulbous tip. It would have hunted ceratopsians, medium-sized tyrannosaurs, and many other animals like marine reptiles. The size of schwimmery was eight to 10 meters to two to four tons. Number four, Astorgosuchus bugtiensis. Astorgosuchus is an extinct monospecific genus of crocodilian, closely related to true crocodiles that lived in Pakistan during the late Oligocene period about 27.82 to 23.03 million years ago. The skull length has been estimated to be around 80 to 91 centimeters for UMDB LCJ 101 and NHMUK R.5266. These estimates were the result of a regression equation based on 13 living species of the genus Crocodilus, based on the width of the mandible at the level of the largest dentary alveoli. It would have been a top predator where it lived and not having any competition. It is known to have preyed on many of the large mammals found in its environment. Bite marks of a large crocodile have been found on the bones of juvenile Paraceratherium. However, if these were left by Astrogosuchus, cannot be said with certainty. Basically, it was capable of taking down large mammals. The size of this croc was about eight to 11 meters and possibly five to six tons, and some sources say it could have been even bigger. Number three, Rampasuchus. 
This killer is an extinct genus of gavulid crocodilians. It lived during the Pliocene and its fossils have been found in two regions, the Sawalik Hills of Pakistan and India, as well as the Sindh region of Pakistan, about 5.3 to 2.58 million years ago. Ramphosuchus was previously regarded as a close relative of the modern false gharial within the subfamily Tomistominae. However, Tomistomini in its traditional sense is now known to be paraphyletic, and a 2022 study by Ijima and colleagues recovered Ramphosuchus as a derived member of the subfamily Gavialinae instead. Ramphosuchus probably had a more generalized predatory diet than the piscivory of other Tomistamines. It would have hunted large animals and fish. The size of this crocodile was about 4 tons and 11 meters long, but bigger sizes in some total size estimates are 12 meters and 7 to 9 tons. Number 2. Purosaurus brasiliensis. Purosaurus is an extinct genus of giant caiman that lived in South America during the Miocene epoch, from the Friasian to the Huayquarian and the Salma classification, and lived about 16 to 8.3 million years ago. It is known from skull material found in the Brazilian-Peruvian Amazon, Colombian Villa Vieja Formation, Panamanian Calabra Formation, Urumaco and Socorro Formations of Northern Venezuela. The biggest species of Purosaurus was Brasiliensis, and the skull length was 4 feet and 9.2 inches long, and was incredibly robust. The skull wasn't like other caimans and was much more broader. The large size and estimated strength of this animal appears to have allowed it to include a wide range of prey in its diet, making it an apex predator in its ecosystem. As an adult, it would have preyed upon large to very large vertebrates, such as the xenarthrans and nautongulates present, with no real competition. The bite force was around 5 to 7 tons as well. The size of Purosaurus for the most reliable estimates are about 8 to 10 meters and 5 to possibly 8 tons. This caiman was thought to be the biggest crocodilian, but it comes in second, since the last giant crocodiliform surpassed all the reptiles just listed. Number 1. Dinosuchus hatchery. This titan is an extinct genus of alligatoroid crocodilian, related to modern alligators and caimans, that lived 82 to 73 million years ago. This massive animal surpassed all the biggest giant crocodiles and look-alike reptiles in size by a good margin. Most of the skeletal is based on one of the largest individuals. TMM 436321, which preserves quite a bit of skull material, 14 cervical and dorsal vertebrae, along with other postcranial remains, several osteoderms and ribs, plus a partial femur, metatarsal, and ankle bone. Regardless of how large TMM 436321 one is, the estimates for CM963 are based on actual measurements, and thus are unlikely to change significantly. This massive crocodile was able to actually go in salt water like the saltwater crocodile, and would have been able to hunt a variety of different prey items, including large dinosaurs, marine reptiles, sharks, and even more animals. The bite force of this animal would have been over 100,000 newtons compared to the saltwater crocodile at 16,000 newtons, but a few animals did bite harder than the Dinosuchus, possibly Liviatan, and even the biggest macro predator, Megalodon. It was a top predator as well, having basically no competition. Dinosuchus hatchery would have been around 14 meters and a staggering 13.5 tons, making it the top crocodile in size. This will wrap up today's video guys, and thank you for the support and more videos on the way. Like and subscribe for more content.